my god! Welcome to Pal World. It is a game where Pokemon and guns. That's just all I know. That's what everyone's saying. I'm not a big Pokemon fan, but I am a fan of guns. Start game. World name, um, Palpagos Island. No, multiplayer? Yeah, why not? Difficulty, hard, all the way. Ugh, player name? I'll make Charlie Brown. Okay, this is our character. Okay, I can... Fuck this character. All right, here we have Charlie Brown. This is his voice. Yeah. <laughs> looks so fucking dumb. So this game is like a combination of like seven... Why am I sensitivity so fucking hot? Oh my god. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Hey, fuck you! Oh, mama. Bitch, come on, jump. I dare you. Oh. Oh, Charlie Brown died. Okay, so I will try my best to give an actual review because I do reviews. That's, that's what I do, even though they're not genuine. I'm trying something new, okay? Now, the game doesn't actually have a lore, as far as I know. I'm aware that the game is early access. It's, it's one of those survival games where you just spawn and you don't know what to do and you start doing shit. Why are you shiny? Stop shining. Oh, oh my god. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh. They beat my ass. A lot of people say this game basically combines three games. Some say it combines five. I, I say it's a combination of like 20 games. Oh my god. This game also has a little bit of a Genshin impact. Who's this guy? Great player? No. Whoa, they just stand stood up with a fucking shotgun. In terms of graphics and visuals, I think I think they're alright. I mean nothing too crazy, nothing too bad. Here I was running the game on high graphics, which was automatically like that. Later in the video I changed the settings to like medium. That water animation. It, it looks so drinkable. I just wanna drink it. Is there fall damage? Oh my god. There was I'm not doing that sound. You know what? I think I'll make my house up here. Yeah, perfect. Actually, it's a perfect place. When I heard about this game, I thought it was just purely actually just guns and Pokemon. But no, this game has building aspects to it. Arc type of shit. Oh my god, is that Gardevoir? I don't know my Pokemons, by the way. I'm just speaking out of my ass. It's a fucking meteorite? The fuck are you? Punch it with your bare fists. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck wrong with my head? I look so stupid. What the oh my god, I can craft a ball spear. You were my first target. Please don't double tap me. The fuck you going? Stop running. Stop. Fucking bitch. Now, it's obvious that this game shamelessly steals the concept of enslaving Pokemons. Which, by the way, they're called pals, if you didn't know. Now, the funny part is, is that Pokemon can't really do shit about it because the assets of this game were apparently built from scratch. No real IPs or assets were stolen from any Pokemon game. Just, just the idea itself. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up? Fuck you! Oh, brother. Brother. Cheeky Ko. Cheeky Ko. Welcome to the Morocco army. Um. Ballsphere. I need. I need. I need milk. Ah! Oh, this bitch was ready. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. This pussy got my ass. Can I attack you? Oh. I am so sorry. I didn't. I didn't. Um, Baba. Baba, Baba. Oh wow, I'm wanted. Oh wow, this game has fucking Red Dead Redemption shit. Can I craft a? No, bitch. Stop fucking me. Now, fun fact about me, not about the game. Um, I really like cheese, specifically the blocks of cheese. I like to just give a bite out of them, motherfuckers. I'm gonna put you over here. Lam, Lam, get the fuck out of the way. I can actually kill you. I could kill you. Oh my god. There we go. You know what? Get the- Come on. Oh, fuck. One of the special aspects about these pals is that they will automatically work for you. They help you without the need of giving them orders. For example, you set up a farming foundation. If you have a water type pal, they will water your crops and even harvest them and put them in a nearby chest. Or when you are in the middle of building something, a pal will come up to you and they will take a massive shit on the floor. It's simple things like that. They give me the advantage of multitasking a lot and give me that feeling of fast progression. Help me build it, bitch. I don't know how you know how to use a hammer, but you know how to use a hammer. And I'm not even facing the right way. Oh yeah, I have to fucking craft it. Uh, get the fuck out. Oh wow, it's fast. Come over here, peasants. Build for me. 
Yeah. 这个有信心，坚持吃这边的。我的游戏是非常这边的，虽然我接机，认为有一些关系和抓机鬼王。All right, I fuck with you heavy. Oh, oh. Oh my god, this is actually cool. I'm actually enjoying this game. This is actually fun. I like it. I love it. I like it, Picasso. Work for me! Okay, so we're getting out of our comfort zone. And uh, let's, let's just explore. Are you are you alive? He's still moving. He's like unconscious. All right, well, let's prank him, John. I'm sorry. I had to do this. What the hell is that? Big ass bird. Oh no, I'm s Oh, okay. Okay, fuck me in the ass with a piece of glass. Now, the fighting in this game is very straightforward. However, it is nothing like the Pokemon games where it is turn-based. If you have a melee weapon, you swing it. If you have a gun, you shoot it. And the pals act as a Minecraft dog. You hit something, they will go rabbit at the enemy. Unfortunately, you can only summon one pal at your disposal if you're out exploring. But if you're at your base, every single enslaved pal present will stop working and jump at the enemy. What? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who the fuck are these men? They're just going straight at the fucking things. That was surprisingly super easy. When did they get baguettes? Okay, whatever. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna craft a bow because I'm, I'm gonna go outside and actually wanna get a good Pokemon. Now, the game does not surprisingly have that many bugs despite being an early access game. It is expected to encounter some glitches here and there, however, these bugs do not really affect gameplay that much. At least that's how it was for me when I started playing. Oh, I have right here. Whoa, what the fuck? Alright, I'm seat posing now. Most of the pals are actually easy to catch. The lower the health, the higher the rate of capture it is. The thing I noticed is that the further away you are from spawn, the stronger the pals, which also makes them more difficult to capture, obviously. But I am pretty sure that the hard mode difficulty does not give 10 miles of donkey shit because no matter how low their health is, they will break free as if my Pokeballs were made of fucking eggshell. Okay, to be fair, I was trying to catch hard pals with crappy Pokeballs, which, by the way, there are other pal spheres, and I was playing at hard difficulty. Oh my god. Oh my god, I might actually catch him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Yes! Ooh, back bonus. Oh no. No! <laughs> oh, well, I did not know that the freaking Firefox could cook. That's game changing shit right there. Yeah, we got a parachute. So this game has aspects from Breath of the Wild. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 I don't know why arrows take a shit load of time to make, but okay. Kevin, help me out of here. Why don't you? Give me a hand. Oh, Lord, get the fuck out. Bitch. Oh, I'm on. Oh, what the fuck? What? That fucking thing homed at me. How is that fair? I dare to attack this bitch. I think I can. Oh, please, please. I'm just right above you. Just fucking bonk his head. Yay! 39%, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, we just fucking captured a Melpaco. Oh my god. I'm so fucking good. Charlie Brown, let's go. So can I ride you? Can I please ride you? Please let me ride you, please. Pause. Uh, oh, no chill. What is this thing? Hey, leave my shit alone. Nice, fucking nice. Don't kill him. Please be mine. Yes, fuck. Nah! Why is this straw hat taking ages to make? Why do I suddenly have hair? This is wrong. What the fuck? Take it off. Fuck. You know what? Fuck it. Caillou just got hair. Or, I mean, Charlie Brown. <laughs> you know, this game feels like a Chinese game. I don't know why. If you were wondering if the game had random role generation, it doesn't. It is actually a set map, and it is a big one with different biomes and unique terrain. The game also offers dungeons, towers, random structures, and villages for you to explore, with hidden loot, chests, and collectibles scattered around the map. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? Is it a shitting fucking material? Stop. Don't do that. Actually, come over here. Piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck you. The mad bitch. Oh, he actually took damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the hell? Look at him. What the fuck? Get off me. 
He's just crying. You're trying to get on my alpaca. What the f Hello, Quandale Dingle here. The game has a fast progression and leveling system to the point where grinding doesn't feel like a drag. Leveling up can grant you points for you to use on stats and things to craft that can be unlockable each time you level up. Oh, look at that chunky boy. Come help me over here. Don't kiss me on my hot mouth. All right, so we're going to challenge the boss at Rain Syndicate's tower. So dead. Oh my god. Mommy? All right, I need to get the big guns. What the fuck? Oh my god! It actually works! Holy shit! Attack that bitch. Holy fuck! That does a shit ton of damage! Oh my dibbly doobly da, that's a big ass axe. I can disassemble, no one told me I could disassemble, what the fuck? I've been destroying shit all this time. Alright, so tip for y'all, you can actually bunny hop in this game. Just this out. Yeah, that's how you bunny hop. World generation is so fucking ass. I don't know if it's my game, or well, because I have the settings at medium. Oh my god, I'm so fucking laggy. I got too many assets in this fucking area, Jesus! So that's really all there is to say about this game. I know I'm a little late to the party, but that does not stop me from giving the best game reviews in the world. The game is just simply fun, and it pushes the limits of what Pokemon really could have been. If it had guns or whatever, game gets an 8 out of 9. I end the video.